MIT integration B2024 finals problem 3 uh, this is such an easy question yeah and I think you all will enjoy solving this problem and uh, basically uh, in this problem my approach would be uh, to take this integral uh, from integral of 0 to 1 and have some functions because this integral uh, most of the time has some uh, pretty standard results and that can be helpful okay so let me solve this problem the first thing we will do is uh, we will use the geometric series formula over here and that gives me a r is x n is 5 a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 dx okay so now after this uh, I can try to uh, make the boundary value go in the only positive real numbers yeah and that might be helpful so for that uh, first of all uh, let me split this integral into two integrals and then take negative uh, in the first integral take uh, x to negative x and that can be helpful yeah so over here we have x minus 1 to the power x to the power 5 minus 1 dx over here uh, I have x minus 1 to the power x to the power 5 minus 1 dx okay so now if I send x to minus x I will have integral go from infinity to 0 yeah and then we will have minus x minus 1 by minus x to the power 5 minus 1 and in place of dx we will have minus dx and the minus sign okay over here it will be as it is okay now uh, the minus sign in front of dx will help us to reflect the limits of integration and then so we will have 0 to infinity and take minus con from numerator and denominator and that gives us x plus 1 by x to the power 5 plus 1 dx okay so now both of these are in the uh, integral from 0 to infinity yeah okay now after having 0 to infinity the next thing will be we can split uh, these into uh, 0 to 1 and 1 to infinity and uh, over here we can change x to 1 by x and that again uh, takes it from 0 to 1 that will be our aim but before we do that uh, we have some other thing, other things to do such as uh, first of all we need to add these two yeah x plus 1 by x to the power 5 plus 1 plus x minus 1 by x to the power 5 minus 1 dx yeah now after this uh, we can take the lcm and combine these two so x to the power 10 minus 1 will be there and in numerator we will have x to the power 6 uh, plus x to the power 5 just take the lcm okay and then minus x minus 1 plus x to the power 6 yeah minus x to the power 5 plus x minus 1 yeah and now the plus x minus x cancel out minus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 5 cancel out so we have 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power 6 minus 1 by x to the power 10 minus 1 yeah now I want to split these two integrals in these two integrals but before that I also want to make de denominator just x minus 1 or 1 minus x that is because I'm basically uh, trying to use this integral 1 minus x to the power t by 1 minus x yeah uh, because this integral is actually equals to uh, oil mass only constant plus diagram function of t plus 1 so I'm trying to make use of this formula so that's why uh, first of all I will try to make denominator as uh, x only so for that I need to make uh, y as x to the power 10 and that gives me y to the power 1 by 10 equals to x and that gives me dx equals to 1 by 10 y to the power minus 9 by 10 dy yeah 
and now with that substitution uh, life's gonna be somehow harder yeah. not that harder though we will have two times integral from uh, 0 to infinity y to x to the power 6 will be y to the power 6 by 10 is it yeah and that will be 3 by 5 uh, minus 1 by over here uh, that will be 1 mi y minus 1 and our dx sorry I missed the dx I missed the dx okay, over here also I'm missing that let me write that for the sake of formality yeah. now after this uh, dx will be 1 by 10 y to the power minus 9 by 10 dy <coughs> okay so now uh, after this I can write this as I can take 1 by 10 outside and that gives me 1 by 5 integral from 0 to infinity yeah and now y to the power 3 by 5 minus 1 by y minus 1 and y to the power minus 9 by 10 dy over here yeah now after this uh, I can break this into two integrals yeah now since denominator is uh, uh, in the form that we want just y minus y or y minus 1 now I will uh, split the integrals okay I will split it from 0 to 1 and then from 1 to infinity later on we will take inverse on this side so we will have y to the power 3 by 5 minus 1 by y minus 1 y to the power minus 9 by 10 on dy plus now over here we will have y to the power okay so because uh, this integral is going from 0 to 1 it would be better it would be better if I write 1 minus something because we want uh, we can make uh, those values to be positive instead if I write like this because it's going from 0 to 1 uh, there will be some values that are less than 1 so uh, this value will also be less than 1 so to make it positive I can write 1 minus something yeah and 1 minus y y to the power minus 9 then that will be better dy uh, over here I can write opposite yeah. y to the power 3 by 5 minus 1 by y minus 1 times y to the power minus 9 by 10 dy yeah. now in the next step uh, I can basically uh, take y to 1 by y in, on this side and that will give me plus in the front as it is 1 by 5 okay so this that will give me integral from 1 to 0 and this will be y to the power minus 3 by 5 so that will basically be 1 minus y to the power 3 by 5 and uh, I will also have y to the power 3 I have over here yeah, in denominator yeah basically if I change uh, this to a 1 by y I will take LCM so here will be 1 and here will be 1 and basically we will also have 1 minus y over here and also y over here in numerator and this will uh, change to y to the power 9 by 10 and dy will be minus 1 by y square dy yeah so that will be the case okay now the next step will be uh, we will have 1 by 5 and there's something over here plus integral okay now let me use this minus sign to change the integral integral from 0 to 1 yeah and then 1 minus y to the power 3 by 5 by 1 minus y yeah, okay now since uh, this is from 0 to 1 uh, we need this form as well and now uh, this is kind of addition thing 1 minus 3 by 5 uh, plus 9 by 10 and then minus 2 dy okay now if I make uh, the addition uh, what will I get so let me add these things yeah and basically um, let me check I can also do it right now but I have done that already so I think it would be helpful to use of okay but let me okay let me do it okay so basically we have by 10 so 10 minus 6 plus 9 minus 20 so that's 19 minus 26 that's minus 10 by 10 yeah okay so that's minus 10 by 10 
now let me write this in the front we have integral from 0 to 1 uh, 1 minus y to the power 3 by 5 by 1 minus y and y to the power minus 9 by 10 over here and then plus integral from 0 to 1 uh, 1 minus y to the power 3 by 5 by 1 minus y y to the power minus 7 by 10 and also dy over here and dy over here as well I missed that okay now after this uh, we will let us first merge these two and then I will tell how how shall we proceed integral from 0 to 1 over here uh, let me multiply yeah we have 1 minus y and then y to the power minus 9 by 10 yeah minus this is 6 y to the power minus 3 by 10 plus yeah and over here we will have uh, y to the power minus 7 by 10 plus this is 6 y to the power minus 1 by 10 and then dy yeah. so at this step it's necessary it, this is kind of check point for me to check if I'm doing correct here yeah. okay now I'm doing correct now after this step okay so here's a mistake and this is my answer button so here's a minus sign yeah okay now after this step uh, we are basically trying to use the formula of diagonal function that integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x to the power t uh, 1 minus x dx this is actually equals to Euler mastery constant plus diagram of 1 plus t yeah earlier did I write it correct or not earlier also I mentioned this formula okay I did correct okay now we are trying to use this formula but here it's not really in this form but we can take this to the form how let, let me show you how so basically I can introduce a minus 1 over here yeah minus 9 by 10 and I can introduce a plus 1 over here minus y to the power minus 3 by 10 I can again introduce a minus 1 over here uh, plus y to the power minus 7 by 10 I can introduce a plus 1 over here minus y to the power minus 1 by 10 by 1 minus y and now uh, we I introduce minus 2 plus 2 so that's just 0 and doesn't matter and I have a dy okay. Okay, uh, this bracket should actually be outside not here fine and now after this I can split this into in, into 4 integrals yeah first of all uh, integral from 0 to 1 and if I take minus sign common out I have y 1 minus y to the power minus 9 by 10 by 1 minus y and then plus integral from 0 to 1 uh, 1 minus y to the power minus 3 by 10 by 1 minus y and then again minus common integral from 0 to 1 1 minus y to the power minus 7 by 10 uh, by 1 minus y and then again plus common integral from 0 to 1 uh, 1 minus y to the power minus 1 by 10 by 1 minus y uh, please add dy by yourself right? uh, here dy 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 that doesn't matter for now and now okay now we can use the uh, formula yeah okay so basically we, here we will have my minus Euler mastery constant plus diagram of uh, plus 1 1 by 10 over here plus oil mastery constant plus 7 by 10 over here minus oil mastery constant um, my okay this is basically minus I guess not plus minus yeah minus diagram of uh, 3 by 10 okay, uh, and over here a uh, plus oil mastery constant plus diagram of 9 by 10 yeah and the Euler mastery constant will cancel out plus and minus plus and minus and we have the digammas remaining and please note that uh, by digamma of 1 plus x I mean the zeroth derivative of our uh, digamma yeah 1 plus x because there are trigamma also which are first derivative and other things as well but this is just digamma okay fine 
and we have 1 by 5 now I can write this as diagramma of 9 by 10 minus diagramma of 1 by 10 plus diagramma of 7 by 10 minus diagramma of 3 by 10 yeah okay now after this step I can use reflection formula basically what reflection formula says is or diagramma of 1 minus x minus diagramma of x this thing will just be pi cot pi x yeah. so this thing is true and that's why this is just 1 minus 1 by 10 and this thing is 1 minus 3 by 10 that's why we can write this as uh, pi cot pi times 1 by 10 plus other thing will be pi cot pi times 3 by 10 yeah and so uh, we can take pi outside so we will have pi by 5 and this is the answer cot pi by 10 plus cot 3 pi by 10 now this is the answer and now if we press this in calculator yeah calculator will uh, give the sum of these two as square root of uh, 2 times 5 plus root 5 yeah so this will will be given as the following value and then uh, we will have pi by 5 square root of or uh, 10 plus 2 root 5 yeah. and this is the answer yeah, if we check the answer from MIT integration B, this was a pretty easy problem, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. So pi by five, square root of ten plus two root five. So this was the easy question. The flow was to convert the integral into zero to one, and with the base being one minus y, and then use the diagonal formula, and then use the reflection formula, and you get the answer. So this was it, hope you enjoyed the solution development and the solution itself. Uh, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too.